Hello, this is Aaron with InAtComputers.com. Hola, bueno, este es Aaron con InAtComputers.com with another video for you today. I filed this one under Operating System Problems, Windows XP, no sound. Fix your audio problem in Windows XP. Sound does not work on your system. Prior to turning your system on, it was working. What have you done to cause this and how can you correct it, you ask? You check to see if you disconnected any wiring and used a sound button to raise and lower sound on your computer monitor. You can view and go through some steps in a no sound in Windows Microsoft article. And I will include a link to this blog post on my website anacomputers.com in a description of this YouTube video so that you can quickly access this Microsoft article. You'll get to this page and then your first choice is Windows 8.1 Windows RT 8.1 you just hit this drop down arrow and select which operating system to troubleshoot no sound in Windows so we're going to select Windows XP then you'll get to another page there will be four selections introduction step one step two step three we'll go back to the introduction and then you just click next it tells you how to use this tutorial then you'll get to step one which is checking hardware check your sound card step two check if the cables are connected properly step three check power and volume you can click next or you can come back to the top and click on step two which is using a troubleshooter and then step three goes over how to update drivers for windows xp use windows update install software from the device manufacturer download and install the driver yourself and then it also shows you how to automatically update drivers using Windows updates. And also how to download and install a driver yourself. Continuing on, you can also perform a Windows system restore if those steps don't resolve your issue. Basically, you pick a restore point before your sound problem started occurring. Number one, log on to Windows as an administrator. Number two, click Start, point to all programs, point to accessories, point to system tools, and then click System Restore. System Restore then starts. Number three, on a Welcome to System Restore page, click Restore my computer to an earlier time if it is not already selected, and then click Next. Number four, on a Select a Restore Point page, click a Most Recent System Restore Point on this list, click a Restore Point list, and then click Next. Note, a system restore message may appear that lists configuration changes that system restore will make. Click OK. Number five, on a confirm restore point selection page, click next. System restore restores that previous Windows XP configuration and then restarts your computer. Number six, log on to that computer as an administrator. A system restore restoration complete page is displayed. Finally, number seven, click OK. Hopefully this will fix your sound problem. These instructions were written for a computer running Windows XP, but can certainly be used for Vista 7 and 8, especially with that Microsoft article that will help you troubleshoot no sound in Windows. You can always browse to anetcomputers.com for other possible potential tips, tricks, and fixes to help you solve your most common computer problems. Thank you for listening.